we're going on a hundred years of dates, starting with the 1900s, where the typical date and dinner only cost 34 cents. Why is my brother here? There was often a chaperone. This is just awkward. My brother watching me rich. The normal date meal, I guess, in the 1900s was pork. a pork chop and mashed potatoes. In each decade, we're also going to be throwing out the best hiccup line. So hit me with it. Pardon me, miss, but I couldn't help but notice your presence from across the room. Might I have the honor of accompanying you for a stroll in the park sometime? Why don't you talk to me like that ever? <laughs> what are you doing? Throw me to the bus! I get to give Brianna a deed of a lamp. I don't, I don't approve of this. So often, there were activities I with dates, right? I'm being rizzed. No kissing today. I give this date a four out of five. Welcome to the 1910s. Pretty much nobody graduated high school. Arizona became the 48th state of the US, and we learned that unsinkable ships are in fact sinkable. This is romantic, it's a picnic. Hold on, hold on, the best pickup line. Was your father a thief? Because he stole the stars and put them in your eyes. I hate that. The total price of dinner in a movie for two was about 88 cents. Really? It's just fruit and meat and shredded chicken on a plate. Mm. It's cold. I have pineapple. Let me tell you some interesting rules. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Do not be overly affectionate. Okay, I'm gonna sit a little further. Yeah, yeah. get away from me. So the average date looked something like a carriage ride, social events, or a chaperoned outing with a game called croquet. This is also a weapon if your date's not going well. So in croquet, you each have a turn where you get one hit, make it through the goal until you hit the pole at the very end. Wow, that went through five. <laughs> Oh, oh, no oh, way. oh, you're in the lead. <laughs> Do not like the activity. I'm gonna give this like a two and a half out of five stars. So we have amazing other couples oh. joining us like Riley and Johnny. Pretend I'm not here. This is the Roaring Twenties, known as the golden age of Hollywood, Art Deco, and Prohibition. Women were becoming more empowered, gaining the right to vote, as well as bobbing their hair and wearing loose dresses to embrace personal comfort over appealing to others. In front of you, you have Oysters Rockefeller, Lobster Newberg, and Waldorf Salad. The total price of dinner in a movie for two was $1.34. This today, easily over $100. So how did you guys meet? In kindergarten. Aww. So neither of us really remember. I, I remember. There's, he's lying. The most popular gift to give was flowers with a handwritten note. You must be a silent film star because everything you're near, words seem to escape me. Care to be my leading lady? Oh, this is not his handwriting. Cars have become more common and consequently, so is dating. Young couples are going out to cinemas, restaurants, and even speakeasies for fun. In the 1920s is actually when rollerblading had its first surge. Oh! I think the 20s is a four out of five stars. The food was really good. Roller skating actually took it back a little bit for me. So in the 30s, prohibition ended because nobody was obeying it anyway. The Empire State Building was unveiled, intended to function as a sort of lighthouse for blimps. And the Hindenburg disaster quickly teaches us that we shouldn't be relying on blimps. Um, and we have Zach and Courtney Zortney joining us. Do we like this sure. name? Not really, but. <laughs> we'll, we'll go with it. For a dinner and a movie for two people, it was only $1.70. Can we bring that back? I wish. So in front of you, you have beef pot roast and noodles. This looks like when the cafeteria like repackages the meat from three, <laughs> three days ago, but it's actually good. Well, do you have some good pickup lines for Courtney? Oh no, they're not good. <laughs> Are you a magician? Because every time you're near, everything else disappears and there's only enchantment left. I don't know if we would have dated if I started with that. Boom. <laughs> Made that myself. Did you just pick these up off the floor? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think you need to feed them to me. Oh gosh. Three awkwardly in the middle. <laughs> I'm Wait, I <laughs> Welcome to the 1940s, yes. Chase and Caroline. She's real, I promise. Jumping right on over to the 1940s, where the cost of dating more than doubled, and that wasn't the only tragedy. I still can't afford that. World War II took over, sending over 25% of the male population off to war. Consequently, women became less concerned with a man's status and more with his likelihood of survival. You have chicken, buttered Ch noodles, Ooh. corn, and broccoli. Okay. It's kind of a deal for four Twice. bucks to Get all that. Cheers. Cheers. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> okay, Caroline. If you were a star, you'd outshine the Hollywood lights. Care to share a moment under the moon? Hey now. Oh, yeah. That's some riz right there. Yeah, that the riz <laughs> Okay, we cannot forget the best part of any meal cake. <gasps> A new relationship phrase called going steady emerged in the 40s, meaning that a couple was officially seeing only each other. We're going steady. Yeah. The most common gift given on dates in the 40s. Wait, pins? Yeah, an enamel pin. Patriotism. America. CK, this is a gift of my love. A pin 
that represents our love country, and country that we live in that we live in under God one nation one nation indivisible indivisible with liberty, with liberty and time to go to the, the movie oh, we're going to watch a movie created in 1949 the do's and don'ts of dating Janet is not feeling it that was the most aggressive cotton candy bite I've seen oh, go chill that's what a boy like do they not know <laughs> I give the 40s a 3 out of 5. Let's head to the 50s. Welcome to the 1950s. Poodle skirts were all the rage. These two guys became the first to ever reach the top of Mount Everest, and Jonas Salk decided not to patent his vaccine for polio, choosing to save millions of lives over making himself billions of dollars. The cost of a date doubled, and the dating scene became very classy, with men picking up their dates at the front door, delivering sophisticated pickup lines. Oh, I'm sorry, is that a sunburn on your face? Are you always that hot? Wait, was that a pickup line immediately? From the 1950s. <laughs> it's like diner food. You have like a jukebox. It's so good. What song would you play on the jukebox? You wouldn't choose an Elvis. I'm not with any Elvis. Your mom almost named you Elvis. But she didn't. But she almost but she did. Didn't. Can we put Preston's face on Elvis's dancing hip? This is the way that they would give gifts. I would take off my beautiful varsity jacket Woo! and have to bestow it upon the damsel. This is cute. Now everybody knows she's mine. Too much confusion these days, you know? Are we dating? Are we not? Are we exclusive? Are we not? Who pays in the 50s? Oh, it had to be the dude. If a woman tried to pay for a date, it would be humiliating. To oh! I wish we could go back in the 50s and see that happen. I want to see some just like, you ruined everything! Dishonor on my family! Dishonor on your couch! <laughs> in all the photos from the 50s, give me your strong. Continue. I wanted there to you show go. you. I think we need to do the activities. As long as it's not dancing, we're fine, right? We're gonna do some swing dancing with Bryce and Ivy. I'm so excited. This is going to go well. You'll we'll be fine. One, three, four. Oh, oh I go back. Go back with me. I go back. You're not the man. I went backwards. So watch, watch what backwards looks like. This is forward. Okay. Back. So again, Seven, one, two, two three, four, five. Was it? Five, six, I'm honestly six, giving seven, the 1950s eight. a five. Welcome to the 1960s, where we're on the moon. Or are we? Hoping to stand out from other boys, men created many new dating norms that prioritize the safety and enjoyment of the woman they were with. We're calling you Instant. Do we like this ship name? It works. How about we hear how y'all met each other? It was online on iFunny. He had slid into my DMs and we kind of fell off a little bit, stopped talking. Four years ago, rekindled on an Among Us Discord. Oh, I was ready to hear Fire Nation, but you know what, hey. <laughs> Do you think the pickup line might be what you said to Emily in her DMs? It might be pretty close. I must be in heaven because you are an angel. That is pretty close, <laughs> yes. Yeah, Oh, how sweet. People still brought flowers and things like that to dates, but the real gift in the 1960s was the manners with which men conducted themselves. Opening doors, pulling out chairs, obeying curfew, as well as dating in groups to ensure parents' trust, all became very common habits. The cost of an average dinner for two and movie for two was $9.96. So you have in front of you a common date night item in the 60s. I guess Hawaiian pizza came out in 1962. And despite the name, it did not come from the state of Hawaii either. The pizza was actually created in Canada, changing the dating world forever by starting the debate, should pineapple be on pizza? Very good, yeah. <laughs> so in the 1960s, bowling was very, very popular. What the heck, y'all are just a talented couple. I'm gonna give the 60s a four out of five stars. Let's head to the 70s. Welcome to the 1970s with my beautiful mother and father-in-law. We're gonna go with Javid as your ship name. Do we like this? What's wrong with DayJ? Day DayJ? <laughs> I'm first. Speaking of first, how was your first date? How did y'all meet? We met at a business meeting. She was sitting between three other guys who were talking to her, and I went over there and nudged them out of the way. <laughs> and we just True connected, story. Oh my connected goodness. right away. That's amazing. And then we married three weeks later. Hey, it works. You know what else might have worked? These pickup lines. Do you like to bake? No. <laughs> After 30 years old. So, yes, yes. I'd love to feel your hot cross buns. <laughs> oh my God. Who chose that? Oh my, God. Oh my gosh. The average cost of dinner and movie for two was about $15. It was like 14 something. Yeah. And fondue, I guess, was a big thing. Do y'all like fondue? I love fondue. I had no idea. I'm learning something new. I did not know it came from the 70s. Me neither. Me either. Yeah. yeah. I that often would yes, do like my uh, birthday. Days at the melting pot, I think is what it's yeah. called. Love that place. You cannot go wrong with strawberries and chocolate. Mm. Oh. 
Nice. The chocolate is hot still. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Written poetry reflected the era's bohemian style and the value placed on personal artistic expression. So we have Javid writing each other some love poems for this decade's gift. Roses are red, violets are blue. You are white with silver hair now, but I still love you. <laughs> I am going to rewrite yours. Roses are red, violets are blue. Uh -huh. You are my true love, and every day is new with you. Aww. Okay, that is sweet. Can we talk about, y'all have been married for what? You said 30? 30 years this August. And you started your poems the same. Okay, that's, that's a good cool. sign. True love right there. You know what we also love? Disco. Y'all, you have to head to bringmerch.com right now to get my new favorite t-shirt, the white splatter crown tee. Which color on here is your favorite? Mine's definitely pink. I think this date is pretty fun. I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. Welcome to the 1980s where arcade games, the Walkman, and prom nights reign supreme. By the way, uh, do you play soccer? Because I'm a kick. No, you're a keeper. <laughs> Why would you be a kick? I didn't play soccer. I mean, I'm just saying if you were a vegetable, you'd be a cucumber. Oh, that's bad. That one is actually trash. That gives 85. Look, I'm reading from a script. Don't judge me. Mine would be better. Mine would be like, well, you're hot. Let's go watch Demon Slayer. I don't know. Like, let's go watch anime. <laughs> I will say that in the 80s, things got less formal, so you could kind of chill. And it allowed couples to relax. Grabbing a slice of pizza, checking out the movie theater, and just getting to know one another on a comfortable level is much more normal than it once was. That's why this meal is chili mac and cheese. Hey, yo. I'm kind of excited chili to try mac this. With Liddy. It's like a Frito pie without Fritos. I don't think I've ever had chili mac in my entire life, and y'all are missing out. This is good. We have the classic. Like, that is freaking massive, that was huh? An aggro cheers. By the mid 80s, mixtapes were a tool young people used to communicate with their crushes. Yeah, apparently they did mixtapes back in the day, and that's what I brought to the table. That's really cute. Is this crazy? Like, this is where the music was? Literally just burnt into the film. I see you over there. Looking at me. Looking at you. Looking at me, looking at you. you have to that's right. Me. I just thought you were familiar. And now we eat our meal. And while now you just sit to here to and sensual 80s music and while you're silent. eating a chili just... mac. The head bobbing is so 80s. 80s had it right. This is easily the best date night because I know what the activity has got to be. Starts with an A, ends with an E. Anime. Close, but no. Arcade, baby. Let's go. So I think it was like a common thing in the 80s to go to the arcade and play games together. And not just any video game, specifically Pac-Man. 1981. All right, high score. Here we go. Oh, you have a cute little hair bow. Yeah, it's because I'm Mrs. Pac-Man. Yeah. She has more surface area. You immediately just died. I'm like, I was warming up. Oh, now it's second player. Now it's second oh. player. Oh, oh, oh. So okay. every time you would die in the game, then it'd be player two's turn and you keep alternating. You know what? I want you to rate this out of five. Six out of five. Six out of five? We got arcade games, we had soul music, and we had chili mac and cheese. Soul music. That's right. Okay, Breeze already beat my Okay, I'm still going. I would like you to know. Yeah, I'm still going. Like, oh, just got ate by the orange ghost. Next is the 1990s. A time defined by choker necklaces, chunky blonde highlights, and of course, the internet. I'm a 90s baby, so Me this too. is, this Me is too. all up my alley. So internet dating started to be a thing. Wonder what that was like compared to now. Well, I know like now it's like you're on your phone, but then you had to go on your computer to be like, oh, look at this girl. How much do you think a dinner and a movie costed for two people? $15? $32. That's about 32. $50, actually. Chain restaurants like Chili's were the go-to place in the 90s since they were very laid back for casual dining. Ooh, is that an egg roll with some sliders? The fusion of all cultures. Can I feed her my egg roll? Sure. And then you feed me your egg roll. <laughs> This is what we did in the 90s. You yeah. fed each other egg rolls. Yep. Are you into Pokemon? Because I want to take a Pikachu. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Never say that which again. Is, which, you know, when it's funny, though, I met her dad while well, I was wearing a Pikachu onesie, Brie, okay? You know what? You got the awkward out at the beginning. You know what? That's a good way to do it. I'll take that. So, in the 90s, something romantic people would do as a gift was they'd make each other burn CDs, which I'm old enough that I did that. I did it, too. You know, like, on Spotify, you make a playlist you would do that on a cd yes. and then normally you'd like draw something cute on it so like we have sharpies for you guys you i came prepared this was honestly though my favorite thing to do growing up getting a custom cd from a friend so cool all right let's hear it okay in the world of 90s cartoons what our love takes flight, flight. do you feel in love now 
I think it's time for the activity. Oh. We are going to play a 90s dating game called Singled Out. So <laughs> I'm going to ask you guys a question, and we're going to see if you guys can read each other's minds. Can you get the same answer together? Can you think like each other? Because if you get it wrong, you will get slimed. Just me? Why not? Just you. Okay. <laughs> the question is, which are you, an early bird or a night owl? Night. <gasps> <gasps> What'd no. you say? Oh, She's an early, an early bird. I was trying to yeah. guess yours and you were, she was trying That's, to guess mine. This was mine. Uh, Dang it. Surprise gift, flowers or chocolates? Chase, you shouldn't have to think about this. <laughs> Three, two, one. Chocolate. Chase. It's always flowers. Yes. Okay, so we stepped back. There's one more on here. What music, rhythm and blues or rock and roll? If Chase Liz. gets this wrong, he has oh. to get this line. Take a step back, sir. <laughs> what would you rate a 90s date out of five? You know, honestly, this is funny. Five out of five. Five out of five. Five out of five. Welcome to the 2000s, where flip phones and social media took center stage, and the dating scene became digital. We have Jess and Alex Jalix joining us today. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Oh, yeah, that yeah, got off. Yeah. Do you want to tell us how you met? I mean, technically we met at work. It was my birthday, and then he bought flowers, and they were supposed oh. to be anonymous, and I was like, who got me these flowers? And then that's when we started talking. It's so cute. You know what also is cute? Those pickup lines. I got a good one for you. Uh, you ready? I, I guess. Okay. Are you Wi-Fi? Because I'm feeling a connection. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> I think that's a good one. That is really good. In the 2000s, sushi became more popular, and the average Average cost of a dinner and movie for two was close to sixty dollars. I believe that. Do y'all like sushi? I love sushi actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Sure. I'm digging in. Oh, Don't tell it. Preston, but like I went on a first date once that wasn't with him, and we got sushi, and it was not a cute first date food. Do y'all have like a type of restaurant or takeout y'all typically get together? Actually, we do get a lot of sushi. We do and eat a ramen. lot of sushi. Mm -hmm. I love ramen. I do too. Are y'all ready to play a game? Yes. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna see how well y'all know your. 2000 slang. Did you have AIM, like instant messenger? Yes. I need yes. to know your username. I think it was like Nacho2494 because it was Nacho email. Oh, I love that. I had like the normal like first name, last name, 2004. What does this mean? I said extra date because I think I want one. I thought it was like the emoji, like people use it like a face. It was a representation of saying you're dead from laughter, so I give this to Alex. Oh, okay. Right, this one's easy, and if you don't get this one, I will be disappointed. Oh no. AFK. Okay, I got that. Let's see it. You go first. Away from cute and funny oh. kind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's two points for Alex. BRB. Be right back. Nice. L-Y-L-A-S. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. I don't think so. Oh! oh. So I felt like I was on track. I'm gonna give the dates in the 2000s. How do you think out of five? Three. Oh, three. Okay, three. three. I'm gonna give this a four out of five stars because I grew up and went on dates in the 2000s. Welcome to the 2010s. We have Stimuli here, the ship name. I was not ready for that. <laughs> so in the 2010s, there's obviously a rise of dating apps, smartphones, all that jazz, and coffee dates were all the rage. Did y'all ever go on a coffee date? All the time. Yeah. Yeah. We still do. Like dream, own a coffee shop with mm. Emily That'd and be, cool. be on coffee dates every day. Oh, yeah. that wasn't his pickup line, but just wait, he has a oh, list I over do. there. Do we uh, just share an algorithm because you're a match. Aww. You like that? You like that, right? That was terrible. <laughs> that made me feel uncomfortable. What are you talking about? <laughs> but this isn't about me. <laughs> the real question is, Brie, can I afford this date all the time? Um, so it's like an average of eighty dollars for <sighs> dinner and a movie in the 2010s. I'm not gonna lie to you. When we saw Avatar, that 3D big crazy blue people movie, the first one, that was another like eighty dollars just oh, for the movie. My god, it was like twenty five dollars each. He was really trying to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> it was okay. What would you guys rate the average date in the 2010s out of five? Honestly, 2010s is when we met, so I'm gonna give it five. I was gonna give it a five too. But. Yeah. 
I can give you my final score after the activity. Oh, nice! So in the 2010s, couples board game night and just game night became super popular. So we have Stimuli versus Jiley in a game of Pictionary. Something exciting is going to happen for the winners. And I guess y'all can get started. I don't even know what this is. Twins? Trunk. Trunk. No. Oh, oh, oh um, um, peck, a pecking bird? What are those called? Oh my god. I know what Emily's drawn. I, you do? Yes. Can you help me? Bree. Bree is a person, is a lady. <laughs> Siblings. <laughs> Siblings. <laughs> yes. Siblings. Oh. Yes. Okay, so in the 2010s, the gift was typically not like an item. People liked activities. So because Stimuli won, they get to do goat yoga. Yay, goat! There's a baby goat. This is the, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are y'all good? I, yeah. I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm giving this a five out of five because I like goats. Welcome to the 2020s where TikTok, a pandemic, and virtual dating hit the scene. It's about time. You gotta admit, this is lit. No, this is not this, romantic at all. No, nah, this is lit. I'm literally having a conversation with you <laughs> and I can drag and drop, put this wherever I want. Look at that, it's, this is sick. You could literally be playing Fortnite while pretending to have a conversation with your date. Oh, by the way, uh, sorry, hold on, let me uh, uh, check your uh, email if you don't mind real quick for you. I just sent you a gift card. Oh, $25. Yeah, that, don't spend it all in one place now. Is this a good time to tell you the average date in 2020s costs about 200-ish dollars? <gasps> really, that much? Thank you for the 25. I do appreciate it, but things are very expensive now. That is literally like a 10th of the date. I know, I know, that's kind of wild. So if you see, this is takeout, because most people now get Uber Eats and stuff. I love this. Is uh, Tesla your favorite car? Yeah. Because you're electric. They didn't get any better, to no, be honest. No, they, they really didn't. I think the 50 so far has actually had the best pickup lines. The sunburn one is hot. If you give us your best pickup line in the comments, we'll pin the best one. Oh yeah, make it good. So this date's not going very well, because you don't like VR, so I have just covered your face with my HUD. Wait, no, it. I'm gonna put this in front of your face then. All right, fine, that's fine. Hey, don't touch me, don't, you're in my virtual space. <laughs> my boundary is right here. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I give the 2020s a one out of five stars. Five out of five. But can you kiss wearing a VR set? Absolutely. Ow! <laughs> Zero out of five. Let me know what you guys think was the best decade of dates. It's definitely not whatever this is.